Brill is a Dutch international academic publisher founded in 1683 in Leiden, Netherlands. With offices in Leiden, Boston, Paderborn, and Singapore, Brill today publishes 275 journals and around 1,200 new books and reference works each year all of which are subject to external. Single or double-blind peer review. In addition, Brill provides a primary source materials online and on microform for researchers in the humanities and social sciences. Brill publishes in the following subject areas, the roots of Brill go back to May 17, 1683, when the Leiden Booksellers Guild registered Jordan Luchmans as a bookseller. As was customary at the time, Luchmans combined his bookselling business with publishing, primarily in the fields of biblical studies, theology, Asian languages, and ethnography. Luchmans established close ties with the University of Leiden, which was then a major center of study in these areas. E.J. Brill in 1848, the business passed from the Luchmans family to former employee E.J. Brill. In order to cover the financial obligations that he inherited, E.J. Brill liquidated the entire Luchmans book stock in a series of auctions that took place between 1848 and 1850. Brill continued to publish in the traditional core areas of the company, with occasional excursions into other fields. Thus, in 1882, the firm brought out a two-volume Leerbeck der Stumwerk tui Kunde. More programmatically, however, in 1855 Hetke de Heeren in Virteen Tallinn was meant to publicize Brill's ability to typeset non-Latin alphabets, including Hebrew, Aramaic, Samaritan, Sanskrit, Coptic, Syriac, and Arabic, among others. In 1896, Brill became a public limited company, when E.J. Brill's successors, A. P. M. Van Oort and Franz de Stoppelaar, both businessmen with some academic background and interest, died. A series of directors followed, until Theunus Fokers took over the reins in 1934. At the time, the annual turnover was 132,000 guilders. His directorship marked a period of unprecedented growth in the history of the company, due to a large extent to Fokers' cooperation with the German occupying forces during World War II. For the Germans, Brill printed foreign language textbooks so that they could manage the territories they occupied but also military manuals, such as a manual which trained German officers to distinguish the insignias of the Russian army. By 1943, the company's turnover had reached 579,000 guilders. After the war, the Dutch Denazification Committee determined the presence of enemy money in Brill's accounts. Fokers was arrested in September 1946, and deprived of the right to hold a managerial post. The company itself, however, escaped the aftermath of the war relatively unscathed, after some negotiation its fines were fixed at 57,000 guilders. Brill's path in the post-war years was again marked by ups and downs, though the company remained faithful in its commitment to scholarly publishing. The late 1980s brought an acute crisis due to overexpansion, poor management, as well as general changes in the publishing industry. Thus, in 1988-91 under new management the company underwent a major restructuring, in the course of which it closed some of its foreign offices, including Cologne. Its London branch was already closed by then. Brill, moreover, sold its printing business, which amounted to amputating, its own limb. This was considered painful, but necessary to save the company as a whole. No jobs were lost in the process. The reorganization saved the company, which has since expanded. As of 2008, Brill was publishing around 600 books and 100 journals each year, with a turnover of 26 million euros. Martinus Nijhoff Publishers was founded in 1853 by Martinus Nijhoff, grandfather of the Dutch poet of the same name and a seller of rare books. In the 1970s and 80s it became well known as an independent international law publisher. It was acquired by Walters Kluwer in the 1970s and subsequently by Brill Publishers. The name was changed to Brill Nijhoff in 2013, and it is now an imprint of Brill Publishers. Nijhoff's portfolio focuses on areas in public international law, human rights, on humanitarian law and increasingly on international relations. Its annual publication program consists of over 20 academic journals, 20 annuals, and some 120 new book titles. Its backlist comprises over 2,000 titles. Rodopi, founded in 1966 in Amsterdam, Netherlands, was an academic publishing company with offices in the Netherlands and the United States. It takes its name from a mountain range in Bulgaria which forms the border with northern Greece. Rodopi publishes over 150 titles per year in around 70 peer-reviewed book series and journals. Rodopi publications are available in print and electronic formats. 
Although the main language of publication is English, the multilingual list includes German, French, and Spanish. The backlist contains around 4,000 titles. On January 1, 2014 Rodopi was taken over by Brill. Brill publishes several open access journals and is one of 13 publishers to participate in the Knowledge Unlatched Pilot, a global library consortium approach to funding open access books. In 2013, Brill created the EFLA slash Brill Open Access Award for initiatives in the area of open access monograph publishing together with the International Federation of Library Associations and Institutions. Brill is a member of the Open Access Scholarly Publishers Association. Brill has developed a commercial font, free for personal use, that supports most of the Latin, Greek and Cyrillic character ranges, including IPA and historical forms. It has better diacritic rendering than most pre-packaged computer fonts, though not complete IPA coverage. Thanks for watching.